All right, hello, hello. I wanted to create this training video because I've been having this conversation over and over and over again. And one thing I have learned is that if you have repeated yourself more than two or three times, it's time to make a training video. So in this video, I want to talk to you about uh, what do we say when we're in the DMs? You know, you see all the time um, those influencers that say, comment this word and I'll DM you. And then you comment the word or what, what have you. And you're wondering, what is it that they're saying in the DMs? What are they saying? Well, we're going to talk about it right now. Um, I will say that I am not a fancy person here. This is me talking. I'm sorry if this is going to be boring. Uh, feel free to put your phone down and just listen to what I'm saying. Because my, my goal is that you're going to hear what I'm saying more than this being any kind of song and dance with visuals or anything. Okay, so let's jump into it. So story time. When I first got started with using Instagram as a means of growing my network, I had no idea what to say. Um, I actually had messaged someone who was advanced in the company and I asked them, what are you saying in your DMs when you say sending a message? They never replied back. And I probably should, have expect, should not have expected them to re respond back because they don't owe me anything. Um, and right as I was just getting really, really frustrated because I was in so many conversations and they were all resulting in no, 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 no. I came across so many no's. Um, and I strongly believe God brought someone into my DMs who said spontaneously, hey, what do you find that you're struggling with right now? And I said, my biggest struggle is closing the sale in DMs. And the thing is, I haven't had a conversation with this woman before. Um, I hardly even knew what she was offering. I thought for sure she was going to sell me something. And she ended up saying, hey, don't worry about it. I'm going to get some information for you. And she disappeared for like a week. And then she came back and she's like, okay, I think I have what you need. And she dropped a training video in, this, in our DM and then step by step of how to qualify a customer. And that began, became the, the framework of how I reach out to people. So this is like thing number one, if you want to make a list. And I, these numbers might get jumbled. Forgive me if they do. Thing number one, you are going to qualify the customer. What does that mean? That means that not everyone is meant to be your customer. Would they benefit from your products? Absolutely. Uh, would it be great if everyone wanted to sign with you? Absolutely. But is it more convenient if someone works with you who one um, enjoys the way you speak to them and your coaching and you feel like you resonate and you're, you're adding value to people without pulling teeth or dragging women by the hair, qualify that customer. Do they deserve to be your customer? Cause not everyone does. So that's thing number one. So when I get into someone's DM automatically, what my ear does, I start tuning to hear if they have a problem that I can solve. Until they express a problem that I can solve, I do not offer my solution. So sometimes that takes that takes time. Um, that takes building the relationship. That takes asking questions if you want to speed up the process a little bit. But know that when you start asking questions before you build the relationship, you might end up putting someone on edge, especially if they can anticipate that your questions are leading towards a sales pitch. So just be aware of that. The uh, second thing, we want to make sure that even though we have a solution to their problem, do they want a solution to their problem? Or do they just want a listening ear right now? And again, these are things that you might want to ask. So, okay, I um, example, say I got into someone's DMs. I saw that they were talking about being exhausted mommy so hard. And so in their stories, they might say that. So I might comment on that story, say, um, oh my goodness, I can totally relate. I remember when I struggled to have energy throughout the day because of how hard it is to be a mom sometimes. Leave it at that. They may reply back, hey, yeah, thanks. It's just so hard. Or they may not respond back. If they don't respond back, if all they do is heart my comment, well, then they have chosen to not engage with me. I'm going to let that go. And I may continue to show up in their stories, comment, show up in their stories. But that's not my moment to drop my plexus opportunity. They weren't ready to listen then. But if they responded back saying, hey, 
yeah, oh my gosh, it is just so hard. I Some days I don't even know what to do with myself. I'm still listening. So she's, she's telling me she needs a problem. She has a problem and she doesn't have a solution for it. And so then I might say something like, this might not be for you. And if not, that's absolutely okay. But I know what helped me the most was when I started working on my gut health. And when I did that, then I had energy that lasted the whole day. I stopped needing a nap when my baby napped. Um, I started being able to show up more authentically to my kids and with the, the best version of myself. Would you be open to hearing more about the gut health supplements that I used? Again, if it's not for you, that's all right. And let them answer. So they might say, yeah, sure. Yeah, I'd like to listen. Or they'd be like, uh, I'm already taking something or no, thanks. And then, you know, you just either let them off the hook. If they say no, thanks. Hey, no problem. Just thought that might be helpful for you. If it's not for you, it's not for you. Um, I really, really hope that you enjoy your whatever. And, and then just keep touching back, touching back, touching back, because that's not a permanent no. It usually isn't. Okay. But if they say yes, I think I would like to know more. Then I would say something like, Okay, awesome, because I really, really think this could help you. But just to make sure, I have this super simple gut health quiz. Would you be open to giving it a try? I'll just drop it right here. You can mark it up, send it back to me, and I and I would probably normally send a, a graphic. And most of y'all should have that graphic. If not, reach out to me, I'll send it to you. Feel free to mark it up, send it back to me. We just I just want to make sure that I'm not giving you wasting your time with information that wouldn't benefit you. She takes the quiz. She sends it back. I look at it. Nine times out of 10, they need the triplex. Nine times out of 10. Um, so in the midst of that, she's taking the quiz. I say, oh my goodness, I can totally relate to X, Y, and Z. Man, I remember I had ABC as well. And um, the good news is that your symptoms aren't separate things. They're all rooted in the same thing. And if, if you choose to try these gut health supplements, you're going to see majority of those things get knocked off the list almost immediately or within with 90 days of consistency or with one with the effort of taking care of your gut you're going to eliminate a whole bunch of things i would say something like that and i let them respond and i normally end with the question do you do you think would you be open to hear about the supplements or may i this is normal may i make a re recommendation for you based on your results and normally some women will say, yeah, sure. Most of the time they want to see. So then I send them a graphic of whatever my recommendation is. The triplex combo, triplex and trim, uh, the triplex and reset, the restore detox. Um, and I normally do two recommendations. Like a, um, triplex and trim is, is a wonderful combo. It's expensive, but it's an excellent combo. So like this number one. Second recommendation, based off of what you're dealing with, that's a more affordable one. So if, the, if my two options was triplex and trim and triplex by itself. So see, they have pricing options that's still going to be beneficial. Neither one of those have prices on it. It's just a good marketing graphic with minimal information. It's not overbearing information. It is not the nutritional facts guide. It is not a, a, a sheet that has like everything it can cover. That's too much information. We want this basic, good marketing content. And again, I can share, if you're like, what is that? Message me and I will send you that. Um, so I would send first a triplex and trim. And I'll say, this is my number one recommendation. It is going to be a liver detox, um, your blood sugar regulation. It's going to replace the bacteria in your, in your gut to make sure that we get you healed up and get your energy back to where it's supposed to be. This is my number one recommendation. And then I would immediately send the, the graphic of the triplex and say, this is my second recommendation. This is still going to deal with your energy, your mood, your gut health. Um, it's going to be really, really essential that we partner this one with diet and lifestyle changes. Which one of these two um, seems like something you'd want to give a try? And then they might say, oh, that first one looks like it's too many things. Or that first one really nails down what it is I want to accomplish. Excellent. That's so exciting. Uh, would you like to see a screenshot of what your shopping cart would look like if you chose to say yes? I'm still not assuming that they're going to say yes. I'm giving them that space to know, 
okay, if you chose to say yes, do you want to see what it looks like? Most of the time they'll be like, oh yeah, definitely. Or, and this is gives me a cue, some people are like, well, I'd like to know, but I might not be able to. That means usually finances are an issue. So if they say yes, then I would literally, I already have in my phone screenshots of what the triplex looks like and what the triplex and trim look like. Cause I've sent this already and already has a give 10. You, they can see the give 10 promo on there. If you need help doing that, again, I am here for you to help you do that. Um, so then if they say no, I say, hey, or or if they're a little hesitant, I say, no worries. This is absolutely no obligation to you. I just want you to have as much information as you need to make an informed decision. So how about I just drop the, the screenshot here. You can make your decision based off of what you see. And if you choose not to do it, no worries. I'm still going to be here. And they, they, that normally relaxes them and they say they want to do it. Okay. You drop the screenshot. And then I immediately either audio, and most of these is being done in audio message, not text, because they can't hear your heart and your tone through text. They need to hear your voice. So it's either normally a video or an audio message. So once I send the screenshot, I say, okay, this is what your shopping cart would look like if you chose to purchase. I've already added a, a promo code that's going to give you a year worth of our VIP membership. It's kind of like BJ's or Sam's Club, where you're going to get the absolute best price on whatever you buy, regardless of whether you buy 10 times a month, one time a month, whether you choose to skip a month or not. Um, there's no obligation to buy every single month, but you have one year of the best rate available for all of our product. And then I say, does this look like something you'd like to give a try? And then I just let them answer. Sometimes they're like, yeah, I think I would. You know what? That's going to be great. Or some people are like, um, let me talk to my husband. Oh, let me. And I always affirm, assure them, that's fine. That's great. I also have some other discount codes available. Or we have a promotion. We actually have a free protein shake or whatever the promotion. If I have a voucher code available, I let them know at the very, very end. Because the pricing is not the selling point. The pricing is the tipping point. They need to know these products have value. They handle more than just weight loss. Or the one thing that they had, were complaining about, it's going to cover that and so much more. Um, the quality of these products are top notch. You can't get this anywhere else. And that's going to come across in your voice, in your intensity and sincerity. So that's pretty much my process. They say yes. I say great. I'm going to share my shopping cart with you right now. Um, I will drop the link right here. If you have any questions, I'm just one message away. Here's your link. I'm so excited to work with you. I let them do that. And I say, let me know when you wrap it up. So they send it, they buy it. They'll let me know they're done. I have um, a copy and paste, a text that, that says, um, I'm so excited to get started with you. Uh, here's your first step. You're going to download the Plexus Go app. You're going to log in with the username and password you just created. And there you're going to have access to recipe plans, meal plan, uh, meal plans, exercise through a program called Pivotal. And that's going to give you access to free product credit. So you're going to want to take advantage of that. And it's going to teach you more about what you've, your, the products you've chosen to purchase and about gut health. And I'm looking forward to working with you. Um, I'll be in touch. And we kind of leave it right there. And sometimes they're excited, yada, yada, yada. I include them into my wellness community chats right there. Very simple, very easy, very quick. That is my method 90% of the time. Sometimes if people are like, mm, I don't know, I try to feel them out. I ask questions. How else can I help you? What more information would you like to know? Would you like some testimonials? Would you like nutritional information? Read your prospect. It's not going to be 100% boom, 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 boom. But this is my framework majority of the time because majority of the time people don't need a whole bunch of information they just need to know that you believe in the product and your credibility will go along the way so that's my dm guide if you have any more questions please don't hesitate to reach out i'm excited to help you on this journey okay talk later